The invites are out and the rumours are in. Apple's March 21st event has been confirmed with the title Let Us Loop You In. So with that in mind, let us loop you in. Common sense and basic maths might deceive you into thinking that the successor for the iPad Air 2 would be called the iPad Air 3. However, 9to5Mac claims the new iPad might be put under the iPad Pro brand instead. That might sound a bit confusing at first, but it's similar to the way Apple keeps MacBooks with two different screen sizes under the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air lineups. The 9.7 inch iPad Pro will look pretty much exactly like his 12.9 inch older sibling that was released late last year. The smaller iPad Pro's dimensions are almost exactly the same as the iPad Air 2, only slightly thicker. According to a schematic that leaked earlier this year, other notable design changes will include four speaker audio on the edges, just like the iPad Pro. There's a hole for a smart connector too, that will enable users to attach a smart keyboard. Apple is also adding a rear flash, which will be the first for an iPad. The new display on the 9.7 inch iPad Pro could be truly impressive based on early rumors. Chinese leakers claimed Apple might boost the pixel density to 401 pixels per inch, up from the Air 2's 264 ppi. That would increase the resolution to be better than the iPad Pros, which seems pretty unlikely so we expect some all around improvements on the LCD display. Other rumours have claimed that the display will be noticeably brighter than the iPad Air 2 thanks to some new pixel technology. The display will also have a higher refresh rate than previous models in order to support the Apple Pencil. 3D Touch is not expected to make an appearance yet. As for the processor, Apple will include the new A9X chip, with extra RAM identical to the setup on the older iPad Pro. It will also have the standard Apple iOS features like Apple Pay, Touch ID, Bluetooth 4.2, and a better modem than the iPad Air 2. The new iPad Pro will be the best iPad ever for shutterbugs. Apple is throwing in the exact same 12 megapixel camera sensor found on the iPhone 6S. The sensor includes support for 4K video and 240 frames per second slow motion. Instead of starting with a baseline storage of 16GB like the iPad Air 2, the smaller iPad Pro is likely to start at 32GB, with the option to upgrade to a 128GB model. Space Grey, Gold, Rose Gold and Silver will probably be the only colour options. But Apple's invite could be hiding some secrets that didn't make it into the rumour mill. Because the 9.7 inch iPad Pro is expected to include some major performance improvements over the iPad Air 2, the price tag will probably be higher as well. The 64GB iPad Air 2 costs $599, so it seems reasonable that a 32GB 9.7 inch iPad Pro will start somewhere around $550 or $600, with the 128GB units costing $100 more. The iPad Pro could go on sale immediately after the event, with units hitting stores by March 25th, if not earlier. But make sure to head over to our website on Monday, March 21st for our live blog, so you can find out all the announcements as they happen. If you enjoyed this video, help us out and smash that like button, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.